Worship leader D Israel has been ushering people into God's throne room from the UK to the US. He released his first album in 2019 and joins me to talk about his life and music. D, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. So, full disclosure for those watching, we've known each other for years. Yeah, almost 20 years. I know you as one of the key people that started the journey for one of the best known choirs in the UK, which is uh, Daddy Gio's Festival of Life Choir, where they have like, you know, 100 voices, but you pioneered that, that and much more in the UK. So there's a lot I know about you, um, but how would you describe yourself? So a lot of people think that, and they ask me this question and they say, uh, they think that I would say that my purpose is music. My purpose is not music. My purpose is to actually educate and see the lives of Christians all around the world transformed through that education. Um, mm -hmm. And music just happens to be the tool that I've been given to do that. So f for you, when you talk about preaching the gospel, what would be some of the significant moments for you in your journey? I mentioned Festival of Life Choir because that's the biggest. I mean, you're talking 40,000 people, 50,000 mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You did all that and then walked away from it. Mm -hmm. You've worked with some of the biggest names here in America in terms of um, session, uh, musicians, session musicians yeah. and all that. What would you say are some of the, the key moments for you in your journey as far as music goes? I think that would be the moment that I met um, Ron Kinoli years ago. So when I was... 14 year old, around about, around about that age. Um, I, I lived in Nigeria at this point in time. Um, I had a- So now, when you were 14 year old, cause I know you're only like 22 yourself at the moment. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in Nigeria. Um, the, the pastor of my church would come home, back to Nigeria from the UK mm -hmm. with DVDs of, um, you know, like back in the day of, uh, uh, Osana music and integrity music, um, mm -hmm. all, all of Ronkin Ron Ali and um, Avin Slaughter and all of those people. So I would sit down day after day, just I just watched those videos until they could no longer show on, on the TV. So I remember at 14, I remember getting on my knees and saying, God, if you would just make me be like this man. Wow. I pray that prayer. And then fast forward five years later, um, I'm now at Jesus House in London, okay. um, and Ron Kinoli came and he, was, he wanted to have a concert, and I was the guitarist. Um, so he sat beside me and he was talking to me, and he, he said, Zamaji, Tamaji, and he took off his hat and put it, and put it on me. Wow. All right, so this is someone who was my idol, and I prayed to be like him, and he, t he took off his hat and put it on me. Mm -hmm. That was a, a a life-changing life moment for me. So when you look at yourself now, look at the future, what does legacy look like for you? When your name has been mentioned at the end of your race, what mm -hmm. would you like to be said? I hope it would be that I, I've written songs that outlived me. Um, we sing songs like Amazing Grace, Our Sweeter Sound, sing songs like, you know, all those iconic songs that we sing that have been written centuries ago. I hope that I would, I, would, I would have written songs that would change the church. Not just, so that some, not just something that people sing just to be happy and feel all these emotions that we feel sometimes that we call worship, but songs that truly have transformed people's life, mm -hmm. that have changed them, have caused them to think about what Christianity is about, about what worship really is about, and what a life after Christ is supposed to be about. Um, see, I'm not, I'm not, as an artist, I'm not as big as you are <laughs> and as big as so many people are at the moment. I'm just still, I'm still a rising star, if you know what I mean. It means so, he's not uh, as fat as I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still on that journey. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just, my, I'm, I'm, I just pray that, you know, my song or my songs will really have uh, a transformative effect on people yeah so i hope you can stay with us because i want to get a bit more from you especially for for someone 
who's going through difficult times of understanding who they are, understanding what they do, understanding whether it's financial, relational, whatever it is, um, some of the lessons that you've learned on your journey that could aid them mm -hmm. to get to the place where you are now. Mm -hmm. yeah, so don't, don't go anywhere. Yeah. Stay with us. We have more with Dee after the break.